Welcome everybody to the screencast on the installation of GNU Health on OpenSUSE Leap 15.2. In the last video we've seen how easy it is to install OpenSUSE as a system. In this video you'll learn why OpenSUSE has the reputation of being very easy to administrate even if you're not a system administrator. From the start menu we go to system and within the system settings we choose just our system administration tool. We need to enter the root password for the administrator and then we are in the admin tool. Here you have different categories for all kinds of system administration tasks. For our purpose we have to go to software management and installation. In this menu now we can search for example for GNU Health and the system shows us all matching entries. What we need basically is GNU Health the server and the client. So if we select a package it selects immediately the depending packages as well. There are two more GNU Health packages. The one is Ortank for integration with the PAX server and the other one is Talamus, the Federation server. Once I'm happy with the selection I choose Accept and the system shows me the depending packages that need to be installed additionally. I choose Continue and the installation process starts. I've skipped most of the installation process and once the installation is done we see a summary of what has been installed and we click OK and then we're done with the installation. Now let's see what the result is. We open the menu and in there we search for GNU Health. So two entries come up, first of all the client and the second one, we'll look at that later. Now first let's have a look at the client. We have already the demo server preset and we try to connect to it. We enter the password which is usually GNU Solidario and after a second the GNU Health system comes up. So here we are now connected with the demo server of GNU Health and it includes a demo database. But now let's close this and have a look at the second entry that was there when we were searching for GNU Health. So this one says run GNU Health and if we right click on it it says run in terminal. So we execute this now and we got a little screen that tells us about what we can do uh, to get a GNU Health system up and running. The window points us to various documentations, for example the locally installed README file, respectively the online documentation at Wikibooks, and it gives us a hint that there is a configuration program which we can run. What we need to do for this is we need to open a terminal window, log in at administrator, su, enter the password and we are logged in as admin. So we type OpenSUSE GNU Health Setup and the program just shows us the options that we have here. Um, give me the help screen, do some installation or print the version. What we want to do is we want to run the setup. So we enter OpenSUSE GNU Health Setup Setup. And now it asks us a couple of questions. For example, how should the database for GNU Health be named? If you're happy with the choice GNU Health, just hit enter. Second question is what should be the admin password for the administrator? Default is admin. That's fine for here, but don't use this in a production environment. The next two questions or the next two settings you should only change if you know what you're doing. So better just hit enter and go over them.
And then, last but not least, the questions come up whether GNU Health should be started automatically at system start. If this is OK, you can enter yes and the installation procedure starts. So the lock gives us a couple of hints what it is doing. It's creating a user role in the database, it's creating the database, and finally it initializes the database, which takes a moment of time. Then we need to enter the admin's email address. Uh, don't look too close at it. I'll enter one of my email addresses there. And once this is done, the setup is already complete. So now let's take a look at the result of the setup and go to the GNU Health client once again. We go to the management of the profiles. So first entry is the federated uh, the demo server. We add a second entry called local and the host where the system runs us is my own host, it's local host. If we hit um, tap, it shows us the databases that it finds and the one that we have currently is the one that we've created called GNU Health. The admin user is called admin as well. And if we say connect, we ask for the password. This is admin as we've said it before. And now we're already in the newly created GNU Health system and can start with some configuration work. Or what we could do as well is, for example, install the demo database locally. How this works, you find in the OpenSUSE wiki, for example. Well, that were already all the steps that you need to get GNU Health running on OpenSUSE. If you have questions, ask at health at gnu.org and otherwise have fun and stay safe. Bye-bye.